From food, culture to lifestyle, it's time for another refreshing break in your day. Soda City Live starts right now. Welcome back to Soda City Live. Remember way back when the kids would actually go outside and play? Well, one of the fun things to do at school or in the neighborhood was to double dutch. And for those who were really good, they were doing double dutch teams. Now, to most, the love of the sport is a thing of the past, but there is a group of women age 40 and up who aren't skipping a beat, no pun intended. Joining me today from the Soda City 40 Plus Double Dutch Club to tell us about this wonderful team is Captain Rochelle Ford Ravenel and members Miracle Holmes and Denise Halton. So glad to have you ladies joining us today. Glad to be glad here. Glad to be Thank here. You. I am out of breath like we just got finished jumping. <laughs> 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 Let's breathe. And I will say this, we are all wearing red. This was not planned. This was not planned at all. <laughs> but ladies, I'm so grateful to have you joining us today. Glad Thank to be you. here again. Be tell here. us about this chapter uh, or this subclub rather of this double Dutch team 40 plus. Well, the subclub was, our captain is Rochelle. She is the one that holds our team, gets us together. It was started because of our founder had a challenge in life. And with her challenge, she decided that she needed somewhere that she could have as a happy place. And the subclub here in Soda City is a branch from that um, experience. Absolutely. And this all started in Chicago, Illinois, and it is branched out nationally. And you all are a part of this national organization. Now, I have to ask, how long ago did you start jump roping or double dutching? I started in June. They were having a, a party for some fellowship and I heard about it. I met someone in at their job and she told me and I said, OK, she said, just show up. And I did. And I have been jumping since I wasn't the best. But since then, I've improved. They've shown me how to, you know, manipulate the ropes and get it together. And so I'm learning new tricks. That's so. awesome. Now, is this something you did or enjoyed um, when you were a child or when you were younger? Actually, as I throw my family and friends under the bus, they didn't let me jump because I was the youngest. Really? So I would want to jump, <laughs> but they wouldn't let me because I was the younger one. So they'd say, OK, jump. Wow. And so never really got a chance to hone my skills. Now, Rochelle, tell me about yourself. How did you start getting, how did you get into jump roping or the double dutch? Actually, dish? this is something that we've always done where mm -hmm. I grew up. We grew up playing during recess. However, jump rope was always something that the girls always did, and we were good at it. And constantly, every day, this was what we aimed to go outside to do. Everybody had to jump. And the idea then, when you were young and full of energy, you were ready to be in competition with all your friends. So to see who could be the best, but it changed when you came back. Yeah. Life comes full circle. Yeah. Now we're just trying to see who can actually get there. Right. You know, when we're excited about I it. I love that. And Miracle, tell me about your history with the Double Dutch team. Well, I've been actually jumping since I was like six years old. So Lady Around the Block taught me how to jump in, in the town of Jersey City, New Jersey. So this is something I did every day you know, after school. And so to come back, you know, in Columbia, South Carolina and join this club, you know, it's like it brings back memories yeah. and you, you relive memories and it's just exciting. Creating new, memories. Creating new yes. ones. Yeah. And yeah. building relationships. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So let's talk about, I want to talk more about the benefits of being in this club. Because I know some people feel like, well, that's for something I did when I was younger. It's not something. What would you say to that person? Well, we do more than just double that. Because when you see that it's a double dutch club, you would think just jumping rope. But we forge friendships, we network, we play, we exercise. We fellowship through fun and fitness. And long, as, long, as long as you can find a spot, you're always welcome. There's no men, there's no children, no pets. This is your mm -hmm. time to regain your, your, your peace. And your peace is wherever you make it when you get in, get in with us. And we tell anyone if they're available to come out to any one of the subclubs here in Columbia, because there are two. We're Soda City. We meet every Thursday at from 6.30 to 8.30 at Hyatt Park, which is Leroy Moss Community Center. And on Sundays, we meet at Greenview Park, which is uh, on 6700 David Street. The other subclub is Columbia Metro. They meet on Saturdays at Lark Park from 10 to 11 a.m. So you have three times, three chances to jump each week. So you can come out, just bring all your, just bring your energy and we'll be there for you. Beautiful. Now, how does one become a member? Well, membership is not a fee of sorts. What you do is in lieu of a membership fee, you just show up, you purchase a t-shirt from the website and voila, 
Beautiful, beautiful, and I love it. Well, we're not just gonna talk about it. If you see on the floor behind us, we have the jump rope. These ladies are getting ready to show us how it's done. So again, the 40 plus double dutch sub club of Columbia, they're gonna be meeting on Greenview Park this Sunday. That's the next one, the time is there. And if you wanna follow them on social media or email them, all those details are there. But ladies, take it away. Fade out, fade out. Okay. Let's go, awesome. Let's go, ladies. 